Hi guys. Hi. <laughs> so today we were at CCI Dallas. Yay. It was it was a great time. Yeah. If you live in Dallas or Fourth Ward, DW, DFW, and you don't have a place of worship, highly recommend CCI Dallas. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we had a great time. We met Pastor Okpe again yeah, after last night. Pastor. And of course, Pastor Renes and all the wonderful people there. Now we are about to go downstairs to have the meet and greet because we're having it at the hotel we're staying. Mm -hmm. uh, the meet and greet with people that are in Dallas. Some of them are running late. <laughs> Some of them are here already. And I'm just like, okay, fine. We're just going to say hello to those who are here and then come back upstairs. And if everyone is uh, converged, they will come again. Yeah. Yes, looking forward to a great time with them. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good, feeling a bit tired, but I'm trying to wake up as much as I can. You, you gotta wake up. Your people are here. I couldn't even sleep. I couldn't even sleep after church. Anyway, yeah. we're going down to this now. Alright, guys. Stop it! Uncle. So, fun fact about you, you said. Friendly. Very friendly. I love dancing, singing. You love dancing? Yes. Oh, I love dancing too. Oh, really? You know, I'm a great dancer. <laughs> <laughs> I saw, I saw, I saw yeah, yeah. Which one? That one, though, it was like, somebody was like, uh, you guys should not judge, please. Who dance better? Like, mm, it's obvious that dance well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, I, that was a joke because I'm not like the best dancer in the world. Yeah, I just feel like. Oh, the very first video I came okay. across and how I met Star Lovers was the. Wedding night video. Okay. That was in 2021. <laughs> and ever since that video, I think it was just the way I fell in love with the first time. <laughs> like, I mean, I get it a lot. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the charisma. I mean, maybe she should not be falling in love with you now. No more story. Fair? Fair? <laughs> I mean, everybody loves this thing, including me. <laughs> um, that was the very first video. And it's just like an addiction. I don't Mm -hmm. Very addicting. Mm -hmm. You cannot just see your video pop up. I'm, and I'm just Thank you. Thank you. Even sometimes when you don't want to comment, you be like, I don't. I don't comment. I don't comment. But yeah. I, I read comments. I don't know why you do comments. Because we do read all the comments. I mean, most of them. <laughs> and when you comment too, you make the video. Uh, you make video YouTube know that the video is good and people think it's yeah, awesome. I think you the activities on the on the video, likes, comments, shares, they make them. That's why you found that video because the video you saw that was blowing up. Everybody yeah. was commenting. Yeah. You know, so make sure you comment next time. <laughs> That's awesome. Good to meet you awesome. again. And your name was. You know, in marriage, this is a good lesson. You need to know who has strengths and who has weaknesses. <laughs> and the strengths and weaknesses of each part. Like for me, names, not my strength. And I, I don't, I, I'm not, I don't. I, mean, I, I can forget names too, but when I faces. tell myself that I For me, faces, I don't forget faces. But names, oh For me, faces, right. Names, I'm, I'm really, in fact, if you tell me your name is Kathleen, the next time, next time I meet you, I could call you. Caroline. I'll just use three and say Caroline. Caroline. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the first letter that I would remember. remember. Yeah. But when I call you your name over time, then I remember like Bami, Eniola, Sepo, Eniola, Adoya. Oh, someone. <laughs> Are you ready for dating though? Um, right now, I'm just working on myself. Maybe next year. But right you finished school, right? No, still school. When are you finished? Um, two years. Two years. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's cool? When you say school, no, no, you say high school. No, no, I school. She's doing this. She's doing this. I'm just using this to gauge her age. Eight. I understand. Are you ready? I I reach. No, you don't need to say your age. I think I figure it out. I figure the range out. Can you say? Let's see if you're gonna get it correct. Oh, exactly. Yeah. For her. Oh yeah. 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 For all of us. Oh, you're close. Twenty? Yes. That's okay, what about the one and what about for Femisola? Yeah. What uh Okay, I should okay, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. That's okay. That's that's fine. You came to you as well. No, you have to do maths. 
Okay, okay I should say call that for four children. No, 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 I shouldn't say that. Okay, okay. I have enough information. Oh, don't try me. Okay, I'm here. 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 Okay, I'm Close, but you're very close. Yeah, it's actually close. So yeah. I said minimum. So it's like, except you are no. So give another yeah. number. Just like my own, like twenty. Oh, like, he got it. Yeah, he yeah. got it. Is that it? Yeah. 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 All right. I'm what always, about? I'm always close, like one or two. Yeah. yeah. Simple. Yeah. Okay. I don't Let think he's do gonna guess this. Yeah. Don't try me. <laughs> yeah. don't, don't try me. <laughs> okay, let's just say ten thousand dollars. Uh -oh. <laughs> so I want to talk about why you should marry. I think this is very good. Whether you're in a relationship or you are single, 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 like my pastor would say, singlet. <laughs> you know, it's important to know that marriage is precious. Marriage is God's to Marriage is critical to your life. And you must take it as sacred as it is. Alright? In this in this side of the world, so many people don't take marriage as serious as, as it should be taken. You know, and that is why you see the rates of divorce. It's like a contract. It's like I can walk into it and walk out. And that mentality is beginning to you know, circumvent the youth. You know, if I ask any other now, the younger and younger, who is younger? Yes. If I, anyway, we did one job guessing everybody's age. It means that to me. So I can still guess your age. So, like I was saying, like you know, people of any other age and all that, people are beginning to have that mentality. Like, oh, marriage, or let's just have fun. Let's just have fun. And you hear that a lot. I want you to know that marriage is sacred, and this is important. Who you marry, who you end up getting married to, is important. Many of you, you're all here because. You see an example of marriage that strikes you. You think this is good. Like I like the word you use, young and getting it right. You can get it right as well. You can have such a beautiful testimony. Because see, all of you, including those of you who are in a relationship, you still have such a clean slate. So everything you do from now matters. Why are we confident to talk to you like this? We have the we have the time to go through that life stage as well, where you know I told her. Everything you do from the day matters. Everything matters. Before we got so popular and everybody's watching us, before we even started YouTube, I said, I told her that the whole world is going to hear of our testimony and how we do this relationship matters a lot. And that guidance. So when you hear our story, like, oh, I was a virgin guy, and like, ah, you got married at 26, virgin, how? You, you, nobody gets it. But I know that my life is an example. Right, so apart from that, you know, I know I love the Lord, and he, He's in charge of my life. You know, and that's the kind of person you want to marry. You want to marry someone that has the same value with you, someone that's going to guide you, walk with you. When they see your weaknesses, they are like, Come on, you can do better than this. Not someone who would exploit it. You know what I'm saying? Many people they've gone into relationships, they never wanted to go you know, to the point of maybe premarital sex and all that. But they had a partner who was good, who was exploiting their weakness. So why is it important that you marry well? Number one, because your life's purpose is greatly tied to who you marry. Your life's purpose is greatly tied to who you marry. And I think you should know that as a foundation of your life. Because who you marry can make you or destroy you. Another reason is because God is counting on me. See, God is counting on me. Let me let you know something. God is such a great God, but He needs me. He needs you to be that example. Because God wants the whole earth to be saved. Are you getting what I'm saying? So He's counting on you to be that example. Number one, you are a believer, you are saved. That is powerful. That is awesome. Now, you do your part by not just preaching the gospel, but marrying the believer, marrying someone who is aligned with God, so that together as a family you can do God's will. Because I said marriage is what? 
purpose. You know, and marriage is God's story for them. Right? When he gave Adam and Eve, is it Adam or Adam? Simple, tell me. You are the one that with the best phonetics here so far. Adam or Adam? It's Adam. Adam. And when I said Adam, come to me now. Guy, you are in the US. Okay, so when he gave Adam and Eve, you know, the instruction to the fruitful and multiplying subdue the earth, it's because he wanted that perfect made in the image of God, Adam. 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 <laughs> Nigeria has not left me. He <laughs> wanted that perfect made in the image of God, Adam, to multiply. You know, not the one that fell, but the one that was pristine. You know, because that's God's design. So now, Adam fell. I could take it now, or Adam again. Adam. Keep going. Just anyone. Just again. So you know what? Take me. Take me. <laughs> Adam fell. <laughs> But now Jesus came and gave us, you know, life, and now we are reunited with God. And in our spirit, we are as pristine as Jesus is. You know that. Now, when you join yourself to the wrong person, that's just pollution. If God wants to dominate the earth, He's counting on you. And that is another reason why you must marry God. You cannot just marry. You cannot just marry. It is called she married. <laughs> maybe not she married. Maybe not she married. <laughs> You know, marry wrongly. You know, so it's important. And lastly, why must you marry wrong? Because for you to experience true companionship, life is too long to live miserably. You know, people are in marriages today and they are miserable. It is sad, and it doesn't have to be your portion. Are you getting what I'm saying? Life is too long. People say life is short, but trust me, most people live till they are like. 60, 70, if they live a decent life, you know, healthy and all these things like that. Maybe you get to up to 80 and all that. So imagine living the most part of your life with someone that makes your life miserable. Life is too long. Life is too long. It means you're going to be discerning in your choice. It means you're going to be critical, you know, in how you make up that decision. Because people can deceive you, but they cannot deceive you for long. And guess what? You have the Holy Spirit. So nobody should be able to cheat you. Because you have the Spirit of God, you can discern. You know you can discern. So life is too long to live in place regularly. That's a good reason why you must marry God. And I pray for you that God will help you. Amen. And that none of you will miss it. Those of you that are in relationships, God will preserve you. Those of you who are you know, trusting God for your man, your woman, God will lead you to the right person. In the name of Jesus. I let my wife talk for a bit on how then do you go about this? How then do you go about this? Okay, um, so I mean, there's no point saying uh, why you should be in the right relationship, right marriage, and stuff without actually telling you how to go about it. And um, I'll just try to be as general as possible. If I, this is a topic that we can preach one hour on, maybe one hour, 30 minutes on. But just to make it very simple, you know, to just make it as clear as possible, you know. I'll, the first thing I'll say is choose with God at the center. So don't choose by yourself. Don't choose with your own mindset. Um, right now, there is a series that we're doing in church, actually, that is about purpose. And purpose is defined by God. It is not... Okay, many people would say, okay, for your purpose, look within yourself. You can't tell a chair that look within yourself, what is your purpose? You would ask the manufacturer that, what is this chair for? So the purpose of a thing supersedes its ex existence, right? So, and that is God. God is the one that our purpose sits in. And how then do you know who you are to be with? Something as important as marriage, something as important as who we are going to live with. I mean, we've heard all the importance. It's, it's a critical decision to make. It is God that is able to actually lead us in that decision. So, I mean, God knows what's best for us. He has our purpose in, his, in himself. And that is why being in him, we have the rare privilege of being able to hear from him, you know, and hear him speak to us and give us instructions for our lives and that we can follow. 
we, you you can get it right. Like you can be led of God so accurately that every decision you're making, everywhere you're going, at every point of your life, you are actually doing the right thing. You are doing what God has said. If you do it, is possible. Absolutely. We live. That's the kind of life we live. Absolutely. Even if we are, even if we don't know what to do right now. We pray about it, watch it, look at it, open our spirits to let God speak to us, and we start to get that clarity. We start to hear, oh, this is the, this is where you should go. This is the instruction. Like now, you, we know what we are to be doing. We know exactly where we are to be. You understand? And that is the testimony of our lives, and that can be your life as well. So you need to choose your relationship, choose the person you're going to be with, with that sense of, okay, God is my direct to God is the person that has my purpose in his hands and he's the one who can tell me to choose with God in the center. So something that is a bit more practical, um, don't put your emotions forward. So when you're picking someone, I know that there is this, oh I like her, she's fine, oh that girl is fine, <laughs> oh that guy is fine, oh it's just so fine. You know, and there is a place for having that attraction, there's a place for having that um, I like this person, right? But then you need to be grounded enough in yourself that no matter what I feel, God must see me. So it is very important to put your emotions last. Your emotions could come first in terms of attraction, but then you bring you, you, you pull really it. want to pull it back and say, okay, Stay what here. is God saying? Yeah. You know, what is God saying? Don't put your emotions first. Your emotions will cloud your judgment. There is, there is almost nothing you can do about that. If your emotions are ahead of you, they are going to cloud your judgment. And when your judgment is clouded, you find yourself putting this person and putting this person in your pocket. That ah, God, please speak to me. But I actually like this person. But she speak to me. <laughs> you know. And that leads me to my set, to my last point, which is when you have that mindset. You find yourself not being able to sincerely raise your hand and just be like, God, your will be done in my life. You will be able to just raise, you know, the way Abraham, I, guys, have you ever imagined what was going on in Abraham's head? Mm. Like, what could that man have been thinking? He was sure, see, guys, let me even just put it for you this way. He was very sure that God gave him Isaac. It wasn't a debate. God took him to the stars in the night and showed him that going to be the father of many. In fact, God changed his name that because he's going to be a father. So there was a lot of fatherhood attributed to him. And even angels came to visit. He gave them food and all that. And they actually said it in nine months time, according to the time of life. And that happened. A woman of 90, was she 90 or 89 then? She was, I think 89, gave her to him at 90 or something like that, you know? A, an old woman that had stopped feminine whatever like years ago and somehow a womb got quickened by God's by miracle and then they were able to have a child just Isaac so just imagine that same Isaac <coughs> and in fact he had even driven his, his uh, slave away or, or he, he had driven the slave away before and he took the boy for a sacrifice he had to drive the slave away and things like that so he didn't even have like no, other no plan B. <laughs> no plan B. And God has said that this child, I want him. What does normal this thing kill him with your own hands and <laughs> offer him up as a bond offering? And he'll pay it. I mean, you should you should have said, um, this is the baby girl. I'm, I'm sure of I'm sure I'm sure God's <laughs> one of my life. God wants me to be a father. The father, he changed my name. Prophesied about it and it came to pass. If the boy came by a miracle, you know, you expect that he didn't argue. In fact, he, he, he deliberately um, did not tell his wife because he knew that his wife was going to take it, you know. And just imagine that sincerity. You know, God had to stop him at the point of the boy dying, like, no, don't kill him. They had to speak with a loud voice so that they would hear. <laughs> because at that point, everyone had given up Isaac in his mind, you know. And that is just how we are meant to give up ourselves. Our purpose is not our own. Your life is not your own. Can you give up yourself and follow God squarely? Follow God's leading, follow God's direction for your life. I 
yeah um so definitely i had those positions like okay like my parents didn't initially think i was ready like they they were not ready for me <laughs> pretty much like i mean i, I started um my relationship when i was 19 uh, 18 i was almost 19 so um and yeah i mean i understood that they did not think i was ready as well but i mean over time i just proved to them like i just stayed consistent with my choice i stayed consistent by the time we had been in the relationship for one year, two years, it was clear to them. And I was getting better. I was I was making proper decisions. It was clear, you know, when you are making when you are in that kind of fix where your parents are not sure of the decisions, you would be have to be the one to calm them down by actually making the right decision, by actually being a good child. If you are always just <laughs> doing the wrong things, just making the wrong decisions, being like the worst, I mean, it would definitely not be able to just have confidence. have that confidence all they need is confidence yes so once i show that okay this person can actually do this like i think they are getting to a point where you know they are making decisions they are you know starting to okay they're like okay 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 yeah. you know so that was that's what i feel like it, it, it takes patience and it takes just showing them over time yeah it's like when you have a kid if you notice children when they start walking but they are still very, very young. You will follow them around because you're not sure if they're going to pick up something and injure themselves. Mm -hmm. and but as they grow, and you can see that oh, their footsteps is strong, they, they, they know their way around the house. You can almost tell them to go get to something. Yeah. That's how it is with parents that don't seem to trust your decision when it comes to relationship. They just need to see that they can trust you to lead your life right. That's the main thing. You, think you can show them the pattern that, okay, I'm a believer, I'm mature, and I'm making mature decisions. It's, they are not the one that they are pulling out the wrong places all the time. They are always rescuing your life. <laughs> they wouldn't feel like you are ready. Already, yeah. you know, so it's a very important thing. Now you start from now when you are single. What are they seeing in your life? What decisions are you making? How responsible are you? Can your parents look at you and feel like, yes, I can do when I told my mom or my dad, this is the person I want to marry, there was no argument. Yeah. There was no single argument. Because I have made se I had made several decisions in my life that were, you know, sensible. You know, that showed that this boy knows what he's doing. Do you know what I'm saying? And that's that is it. For her, they didn't see her growth. You know, because she was always in school. And that was where she was growing in the Lord and that was when I met her. So her parents didn't even see that. All they saw was that my little baby. Mm -hmm. you know, so it took a little, you know, it took some it some so some much. months mm -hmm. there about to just say, that, oh wow, this girl is actually serious. She's serious. She's actually serious. You know, and also myself, you know. And I, I would never like bring issues to them like as if we are fighting. Yes, like, there, was one, there was no fight. No but need to happy, be afraid of your you daughter know? if her house is going to be shut out. Yeah. Because you can see that she's being nurtured, she's getting better and better, you know. Yeah. That's for you guys. Yeah. Anyway, that's a good one. That's a good question. All right, you came with a question, right? Yeah. Let um, us start with your question. My question is um, it's actually related to what she said, and you've kind of touched on it a little bit. But this is not about you showing your parents. Sometimes what they want is what they want. Mm. It's not about you. There, there isn't. There isn't any convincing. It is what they want that they want. So how do you go about parents that are extremely strict in the choices they make for their children? You are growing. You are. You did all the things I mentioned before. They know they can trust your decision. It's just they are just very highly opinionated, right? You need to now look for how to convince them. The easy way out is that number one, you pray. Bible says that the heart of kings is in the hands of the Lord, and God can direct the heart of them. They can wake up in a dream and just say, you know what, just do what you want to do. If God really steps in, and that's why you must partner with God in your choice in the first place. So there is prayer, but let's go into a little more practical. You know, see, let your mother know. Okay, this is what happened to you, so that you don't have stress. Stress, <laughs> but just in case it happens to you or someone that is close to you. You need to let your parents know that number one, it is my life. In that marriage, you're not going to be there with me. And if I choose that this is the person I want to be with, there are reasons for it. 
let me educate you on how great this guy is in my life and how I came about this decision. And you'll find a good time when they are receptive because they are not all the time, don't talk to me, don't talk to me. Let them know that, see, not, I'm not just in love with this guy. I also believe that he is the kind of spiritual leader that I need in my life. And all those things like that. That's one. Let them understand that they think that men are out there, but they aren't. <laughs> All right, the aren't so you know it's easy for her to say, Oh, oh, really? Hausa, okay, let me not speak your but you didn't see Ibo, you didn't see if you have brought Hausa, she will have said the same thing. Trust me, trust me. She will yes. say, Ah, you did not see Yoruba. Yes, okay. in fact, if you brought someone that is any tribe that is not Yoruba, she might tell you, Ah, you did not see Ijebu, you did not see, <laughs> they will always have preferences, you know. So, you need to let them understand that. Yes, men are asking you out, but they are not good men. Mommy, do you want me to be married to someone that will beat me? Do you want me to be married to someone that wouldn't adore me? I'm saying that to my mom. She said, that's not my prayer for you. I said that my God did not have And so you think, <laughs> exactly. So you see, God has answered your prayers. It's just not the way you wanted it. Yeah. And see, God doesn't always answer our prayers the way we want it. And you need to let mommy know that. Well, I keep saying you, don't worry. But you get the point. Yeah. She needs to understand that, see, you're in the US. There are a lot of riffraffs here. And when you manage to get that person, that's not perfect still, but ticks all the good boxes. I beg, don't let me let this one go because of your preference. You're not going to live in the house with me. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be married to this man. It is me that will be married to the man. Mm -hmm. And see, let me tell you something. That's why you're an adult. They must respect your decision as an adult. And that is why if all fails, you will use the adult card. Yes, that was the last resort. Because parents don't really like their children adulting often. It's very discomforting. Right? But you're gonna to need to use the adult card. Number one, first not be under their responsibility. So if they're not feeding you, they're not paying your rent, they're literally not in charge of your life anymore you can tell them my mommy i've made my decisions <laughs> deal with it all right i mean in the movement not the way of yeah don't tell you <laughs> i wanted to say that I wanted to say. <laughs> no 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 leave them again say okay mommy you come back again yes <laughs> but the point is my point is that you need to make a stand that yeah. this is my decision and you are just consistent. mommy you are just going to have a, you are just going to have to find a way to accept and you will not did that one and you come back again say, I don't know what I'm booking up yeah. <laughs> 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 do, do you like, that is yeah. why you need yeah. to know what you're doing sure. yes you wanted to ask the question I was going to say that because you know that it's important for your parents to like your yeah. your mm -hmm. spouse your partner so how do you as important Trust as me, that come is around. as important yeah. as that is it's not it's not more important than you and your partner. If you are if you are your partner are consistent and you keep on showing them love and you keep on showing them that we are here. We are here. You'll come around. They will come around. I mean, we had our own share. Her parents didn't like me. There's nothing you can Like like me. Me. Uncle Boo. Alright, so keep loving. Keep believing.